is a special report from WMTW, Maine's Total Weather and News. And good evening. Continuing our commitment 2014 coverage now with an update on the governor's race. That's right. Independent candidate. Candidate Elliot Keller is about to address his supporters at his campaign headquarters. WMTW News H Katie Thompson is live at the Ocean Gateway Terminal now. Katie. And Stephen Tracy, the uh, campaign is setting the stage now for Elliot Cutler to give his speech. Poll results have been coming in with him about 8% of the vote. They believe it is now time for him to make this concession speech. I'll let you listen in on what's going on. Like adults. Yeah. I am deeply grateful for the support of so many wonderful people, and I'd like to say thanks to just a few of them. First and foremost, to my family, to Melanie, my beloved wife. My beloved wife of nearly 41 years, and to our children, Abby and Zach, who indulged and supported me beyond reason, and I am more grateful to them than they can imagine. Deepest, and I mean deepest thanks, to my hardworking and dedicated campaign staff. Led by campaign manager Ted O'Mara and his deputies Justin Scher and Caitlin LaCase. Together with policy director Betts Gorski, they've supported me through not one, but two long, arduous campaigns. We, we could not have assembled a better senior staff than the one that also included Crystal Canny, Kara McCormick, and Kyle Bailey. Now wait, because I'm going to run a real risk of failing to mention others, and I ask their forgiveness in advance if I do, but I also want to thank the following members of our staff by name. Emily Kramer, Heather Furman, Senator John Nutting, Janet Davis, Nate Wilde, Finn Melanson, Griffin Johnson, Anastasia Giuliano, Rebecca Smith, Kate Brown, Ben Whitebox, Matt Caston, Walker, Representative Terry Hayes, 
Franny Babb, Annie Salika, Senator Dennis Damon, wherever he is, Dick Spencer, Jamie Kilbreth, Ben Wyman, Beth Perry, Adam Pontius, David Gorski, Deanna Lorenzo, Harlan Cutshaw, Jeff Tyndall, and Baden Saad. Thank you all so much. And, and to the hundreds, many hundreds, of incredible volunteers from around the state who gave up family time, vacation time, nights and weekends to march in parades, hold house parties, put up signs, make phone calls, raise money, and do all of the other tasks, large and small, that make a campaign work. Thank you so much. Our finance co-chairs, Gene Gulliver and Marion Freeman. The other members of the Finance Committee and the more than 3,000 people who made financial contributions to this campaign. We were outspent by 15 to 1 or more. But, but, we all can hold our heads high because we did not take one dime of the millions of dollars we did not take one dime of the millions of dollars of special interest PAC money that flooded our state and fouled our democracy to the members of and contributors to the campaign for Maine which I can speak to finally tonight after eight led by Chris Hart, who worked so hard to support our efforts. Thank you. And finally, finally to the people of Maine. I've said many times, that running for office is a privilege. But nowhere, and I mean nowhere, is it more of a privilege than here in Maine. Thank you to all of the wonderful people who have welcomed me into their homes and businesses and families over the past five years. I hope and trust that we'll continue to see each other for years and years to come. Yes. Now, as you might expect, there are a few things I'd like to say. <laughs> Lots of things are right with our democracy, starting with the fact that voters have the final say. But there also are a growing number of things that are very, very wrong. I'm not going to dwell tonight on all that's wrong, except to say that I was heartened, really heartened today, to sign the clean elections petition and to sign the petition to bring rank choice voting to Maine. If you have supported me and believe in what I stand for, then please support campaign finance reform and rank choice voting so that never again will Maine people have to vote their fears, so that never again will so much special interest money flood into our state to buy our votes, so that never again will so much negative advertising foul our airwaves and our mailboxes, so that never again will any candidate be accused 
of being a spoiler or splitting the vote, and so that never again will Maine elect a minority governor. My quest to be Maine's governor ends tonight, but my love for this state is steadfast and my hopes and dreams for our future remain undiminished. Some of the policies and proposals that we've put forward in this campaign will be picked up by others who are not afraid to embrace reform and change and good ideas, regardless of where they come from, and I assure you that I will continue to be an active, engaged citizen of this great state. And finally, finally, to all of you who voted for me, thank you. I am grateful beyond measure for the confidence you placed in me and for the courage you showed in following your conscience and not yielding to the polls, pundits, parties, and PACs who tried to frighten you into voting for someone else. One politician said that a vote for me would be merely a protest vote. No, no Senator, you were wrong. supporters cast a vote that said what's good for Maine is more important than what's good for any single politician or any particular party. Our supporters cast a vote that said that the only spoilers in politics today are the cynics who divide us and pull us apart. Our supporters cast a vote today that said we should take back our political system from big spending special interests who don't give a damn about the future of our state and who are making a mockery of our democracy. Our supporters cast a vote that said that character and principles still matter in Maine politics. So thank you. Thank you all for being a part of this five-year journey. We've taken it together. The ultimate destination may have eluded us, but our journey still mattered. A loyal and wonderful supporter wrote to Melanie and me and to the campaign staff a few days ago and thanked us, and I'm quoting, for the energy, the wisdom you have all invested in this adventure against these forces that are so tangibly destructive to our state and democracy. That investment does not disappear. Where it goes, I do not know, but it doesn't disappear and it matters greatly and I thank every single one of you for that. Tomorrow's a new day and we are all the lucky ones because we get to live in the most beautiful, most special place on this earth. Let's celebrate. Let's always celebrate what is good and decent about Maine. And let us never, ever stop trying to create a state full of opportunity for every man, woman, and child who's lucky enough to be here. Thank you. his campaign headquarters giving really an emotional <laughs> speech Steve conceding tonight he was saying thanking his thanking his wife and his children thanking the main voters <laughs> for coming out and standing by their principles and their characters voting for him 
And uh, as uh, that leaves Governor LePage and Mike Michaud now as the only two in this race, and as expected, it is razor thin right now with Michaud looking at the latest numbers holding just a 1% edge, a 46 to 45% edge over Governor LePage. And of course, you see there that Elliot Cutler had 8%. Well, right now we are going to join ABC News, and we will be back here in about 20 minutes. That's right.